This book is called Jaden's Impossible Garden by Malina Mago. Oh, garden. Yep. My go. Illustrated by Ken Daly. Garden. Oh my goodness. Look at that big flower. So colorful. It's think they are just leaves. Oh, they might be leaves, yeah. That is a great guess. Jaden loved nature. At school, he played outside during recess. On field trips, he pretended to be a scientist, collecting acorns, stones, and twigs. In Jaden's favorite books, kids played in tree houses or climbed rocks. Some more honey tea. Okay. But after school, Jaden had to stay inside. There's no nature here in the middle of the city, Mama said. Jaden knew there was. On his way home, he watched squirrels scrounge for snacks. He listened to the calls of cardinals. He felt fat, furry snowflakes as they fell from the sky and landed on his face. A wheelchair. Some more, some more honey tea. All right, I'll get you some more. A wheelchair van lowered, lowered Mr. Curtis onto the sidewalk in front of Jaden's building. Each afternoon, he would inch forward and stop, then look around from the sky to the ground. He closed his eyes to breathe in the cold, fresh air before wheeling in. <sighs> Jaden wondered if Mr. Curtis wanted to be outside as much as he did. Every day, Jaden walked home very slowly, so he would get there just as a wheelchair van pulled up. He opened the door wide and waited as Mr. Curtis wheeled inside. Thank you, Jaden, said Mr. Curtis. Mr. Curtis wheeling inside the building. No banana. Mr. Curtis was outside one day as Jaden walked up. What are you looking at? Jaden asked. That crocus, Mr. Curtis said. Can you point to the crocus, Benji? Here it is. Yeah. How'd it get there? Jaden asked with awe. Magic, Mr. Curtis winked. <laughs> Spring is here. Jaden smiled, wanting to stay. Then his shoulders slumped. I have to go inside. Mama says there's nothing to do out here. My daughter says that too, Mr. Curtis nodded. But I just want to be out all day. Can I go outside with Mr. Curtis? Jaden asked Mama. He loves nature too. What a kind idea, Mama said. But Jaden... There's no nature here in the middle of the city. What are Jada and Mama, Jaden and Mama doing? Washing them. Don't say. They're washing the dishes, huh? No. Oh. You're silly. From then on, Jaden and Mr. Curtis met every day after school. Mr. Curtis told stories of his childhood adventures in Mississippi. Jaden shared facts he'd found in animal books. They compared nature collections. They searched for ant hills. See the ants on the hill? Mm -hmm. They built towers from old boxes, stones, and sticks. This is our secret fort, Jaden said. They planted mystery seeds in old containers. This is our magical garden, Mr. Curtis said. Ooh, look at the leaf. It's almost glowing. It's like magic. One day, Jaden tried to share the secret. Mama, here's a magic secret fort garden. The I curtain with sad. Mr. Yeah, kind of a concerned face. Maybe sad. These old buckets and boxes? Mama shook her head. Jaden, honey, 
I'm glad you and Mr. Curtis are enjoying time together, but there's no nature here in the middle of the city. Hmm. Looks like Mama went grocery shopping, huh? So Jaden and Mr. Curtis made a plan. Maybe I would, I would, you now I'm done with that. I don't want you to eat it. My daughter didn't understand why I wanted her to bring me empty coffee containers rather than recycling them, Mr. Curtis chuckled. Jaden helped Mr. Curtis decorate the coffee containers. They planted zinnia, miracle, and nasturtium seeds inside them. Mama said I shouldn't keep trash, Jaden said, smiling. So I told her I was recycling this milk jug. Mr. Curtis helped Jaden cut in holes in the middle of the jug and attach a string to the top. They filled it with scarlet runner bean seeds. See Jaden putting the milk jug up and recycling it into a little pot. Together they discovered something new each afternoon that summer. While watering the garden, they plucked a caterpillar and put it in a jar. It became the guardian of the fort. After watching a spider weave its web, Jaden stretched an old basketball net across the top of his tower and nodded the bottom. Look at that. It became a tiny hammock. Could you see it right here? Oops. So excuse me. <laughs> when flowering green vines began inching along the laundry line, Mr. Curtis twirled. Okay, one minute. Look at this. What's Mr. Curtis doing? What's Mr. Curtis doing? Mm. Twirled the tendrils toward the tower. Look at that. They became a royal rope bridge. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's going from Jaden all the way to... Who's this? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Jasmine. It's Mr. Curtis. Yeah. Jaden was almost ready for the last part of his plan, showing Mama the magical secret fort garden. But would she see the garden the way he and Mr. Curtis did? Was there enough nature to show her? One hot summer evening, the secret got out. Did you see those butterflies, asked Shanice from down the hall? Listen to that cooing, said Mr. Williams from upstairs, pointing to the morning dove nesting in the royal hammock. Look, everyone rushed to the rope bridge. Mama hurried down the stairs toward the small crowd. What's wrong, Jaden? Listen, Mama. Jaden whispered, taking her hand. A hummingbird, Jaden said, pointing. Mr. Curtis nodded. Neighbors smile. Look at the smiling neighbors. Everyone soaked in the beauty that surrounded them. Look at that fort. Think you can make a fort like that, Benji? It's our magical secret fort garden, Jaden beamed. This time, Mama saw what Jaden saw. The magic of nature was all around them, right there in the middle of the city. Where's the butterfly? Do you see the butterflies? What color are they, Benji? It's right there. How many are there? There's one, two. How, what color are they? They're blue and orange. Yeah. Pretty, pretty butterflies. And there's information, a note from the author and how to invite nature into recycled crafts. And here's about the what? Author in the? Illustrator. I think this is the illustrator. And the nice thing this is the author. Yeah, you are correct. And that book was called... Jaden's Possible Garden! Oh, wow, that was really loud. Thanks for reading with me.